In this video, I'm going to show you how to sketch some shaped blocks inside your perspective boxes. In this page, I'm going to sketch boxes using the method one point perspective. It's important that you know how to sketch a box in one point perspective, so you should have done the relevant exercise prior to attempting this exercise. So for the first, first um, shape block, you would begin by sketching the box, as you can see on the screen. This should be done using light construction lines. What I'm going to do now is I'm going to sketch an edge on the front face running at an angle and then where that line meets the top edge and the right hand side edge you draw receding lines back to the vanishing point and where these receding lines cross over the back edges on the back face you would draw the second or the opposite edge to that sloped surface on the back. Once you've sketched it using construction lines the next task is to outline it to make the outline of the shape block stand out from the construction lines. Now the benefit of using one point perspective when producing this sketch is that each surface looks like it's running in the correct direction. If you didn't sketch the box and just attempted to sketch the shape block, quite often your lines will run in, di in different directions and surfaces will appear um, to be running in different directions as well. Okay, I'm not going to uh, commentate on the next two sketches. What I'll do is I'll speed up the video so that you can see the next two examples that I would like you to sketch. Again, for each example, you would begin by sketching your one point perspective box and, and then drawing the shape block inside. There, there should be three shape blocks in total. And once you've completed sketching these three shape blocks, if you could take a picture of it, of your sketches and insert them into the relevant section in your team's notebook.